I think today we were really, uh, to say, dirty. What did you think of the first start of Berghaus since his... Uh yeah, it was it was important to have him back. Uh, of course, uh, we knew that um, you know at some point he he has to start again. He had to start again and to be on the pitch, and it's never easy because uh, when you almost three months out of the pitch, uh, it's always complicated. I think uh, he did a very good game. With, like when he touched the ball, he create and he generate many good things. But after there is the rhythm of the game, and that's why today it was really important to give him the opportunity to start, uh, to be there again, and uh, slowly, slowly to build up his condition again. And how happy are you about Brian Broby's first goal in the Eredivisie? Yeah, of course, uh, all of us, we are happy. We are happy when our strikers, uh, they, 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 they score. Uh, this is what happened, uh, what happened with Brian and with Bakabi, uh, the celebration of the players and the stadium. Tonight, his first goal uh, um, in Eredivisie. Uh, and at the end, um, you know, I think since PSV, uh, his uh, contribution on the team is is getting better and better, uh, and as we mentioned many times, at some at some point, uh, doing the job that he's doing, uh, you have to get back the, the things. And I think now, uh, the fact that all, that he scored also in the Eredivisie is somehow you know like something that can boost uh, his season again. I think today we were really uh, to say dirty in like a pass instead of being there was uh, one meter far away. So I would say today more than overconfident, it was confidence. It was a problem of uh, of accuracy, uh, because for example in the second half I had the feeling that we could have uh, played much more, uh, but somehow we miss like the meters to to come to receive the ball, uh, the accuracy of the pass, uh, the intention and the relation between um, uh, some players, and this is what I said when. Uh, I think prove ourselves once again that if we drop a bit our standards. All the games are going to be difficult, so this is a good uh, alert uh, for us. And yeah, it will be the part that we will uh, analyze very deeply in the next days. What made you decide to put um, Kenneth Taylor as a left winger? Yeah, uh, it was uh, um, an analysis based on the fact that uh, mainly we wanted to, to to see Steven in the middle of the pitch, um, and uh, I think the player that uh, fits the most for the uh, for this game and the combination of everything was was Kenneth. At the end, uh, for him, with uh, his natural position, is just like few meters few meters wider. Uh, as you know, when uh, Mika is playing there, uh, Mika and Kenneth they swap quite a lot uh, on the, the they are used to, to switching between them quite a lot so it is is a condition and situation that is quite uh, comfortable for him uh, and i think the game that he did was uh, was a positive one uh, with uh, a lot of attention and also a lot of sacrifice uh, in a position that of course is not uh, his natural one you don't consider steven and bertrand as options for the left wing yeah, there are there are many different possibilities. Um, I think both uh, Bertrand and and Steven are uh, players that in the right side they they, they give us something more. Uh, so my decision uh, was made to try to uh, yeah to keep them in their natural position. Kenneth Taylor suspended for the game against him. So is that? Uh, have you already made the puzzle in your head who is going to play left winger over there? Yeah. Yes, yeah, of course. The, the puzzling is, uh, is is a part. It is a big part of uh, this block. Yeah. Is everybody uh, injury free after this game? Yeah, we have Brian that we have to check because he got uh, like an hit in the in the head. Uh, but uh, everybody is okay. Uh, we have uh, Mansberg as well that is uh, back uh, with partially with the team. So I think he will get some minutes with uh, with Young Ajax. Um, but yeah, more or less we are with everybody back. Of course, waiting for Mika. So Monsfeg is not traveling to Spain? No. Keep it in the zone.